Hey guys, in December 2016, I promised everyone a sequel to Human Being 2 at gunpoint, <laughs> and it's been over two years since then, and uh, so I imagine what you're wondering is, where is it? Um, I've gotten tons of questions uh, about it, tons of DMs, and I've really not been too open about Human Being 3's development for quite a while now, so I'm making this update video to explain what I've been doing and what the future of Human Being will hold. The short version is, I'm working on it. I'm working on it really hard, but there's still a lot of work ahead of me, and so I'm going to predict late 2019 if I can get all my ducks in a row. And uh, if that's all you needed to know, uh, you can leave the video now. Thanks for checking in. I uh, hope to see you at the end of the year. Uh, now I'm going to fully explain the whole story. So I didn't start working on Human Being 3 right away. Uh, that January, right after I released it, I took over development for Madness. And then the following few months after that, I was busy with college, and I spent most of my free time working on Berlin Blitz, my short World War II total conversion mod. And Blitz was a turning point for me, as it showed I could really push this editor further than I initially thought I could. Uh, with the Watt Explorer and Notepad editing, if you really put a lot of effort into it, you can pretty much create your own game. Now, it's got the same mechanics, of course, as Hotline Miami 2, but visually, you could really change it up. And so I knew going forward with Hotline Miami, I, all my projects were going to have to be like this. I wasn't interested in using the vanilla assets as much. The initial skeleton for Human Being 3's story structure was then figured out, and I started making levels and sprites for it that summer. Uh, I was unable to work on it too much, as I spent most of the summer recovering from a surgery on my dominant arm, and that made using the mouse difficult. While not much content was created that summer, the philosophy behind Human Being 3's design and tone were established. Essentially, I wanted Human Being 3, I want it to be an adventure. Uh, an experience not seen in the editor before, I wanted to have his own identity separate from the base Hotline Miami 2 game. Uh, and to do this, Human Being 3 will have nearly every asset altered, and it's all going to be super unique locations, and I'm pouring all the knowledge of the editor into this to make it the biggest campaign of all time. Uh, it's the last campaign I'm planning on doing, so, you know, might as well end it on a high note, right? But that's pretty ambitious, and that's going to take a long time. Since then, I've been working hard at hammering out the levels, sprites, and the script. Uh, currently, I have about 75% of the levels finished, but no cutscenes done. The script is in a strange state where it's been finished a couple times, but then I've altered the story and had to go back. Um... And so that's why I haven't done it, any cutscenes until I'm fully happy with all the main combat levels and then the script. And then I'll start working on cutscenes, uh, which is not a terrible amount of progress, but it could be way better too. Because it's also taken me two years, I keep coming up with more and more ideas I want to add in, and so feature creep is piling on even more work, and there's been some uh, distractions throughout the years. Uh, the biggest hurdle, of course, is that I work a job now that's 40 hours a week, and my free time just isn't what it once was because of it. I am working on improving my work ethic and the speed at which I get things done, so hopefully I won't keep you guys waiting another two years. I do plan on getting it out at some point this year. And uh, and now I want to give a shout out to Psycho Named Jerry for the massive help he's been with the sprites. Not only is he getting a ton of the sprite sheets done really fast for me, but we've been able to add a lot more fun things than initially planned, like new animations, uh, more detail to the cutscenes. Uh, it, it's definitely improved the quality of human being overall, and it's shaved off probably two or three months of work for me. And so, I love you, Jerry. This year, I also plan on starting live streaming development. You've been seeing me stream a whole lot of other people's campaigns and me just playing around, but I think if I set a day that I stream from like X hour to X hour and just kind of show you the ropes of how uh, the uh, process has been going, I think that'd be good for both of us because one, I gotta stay focused to the project. I can't just click off to Twitter because I've got people watching me. And for you guys, it shows uh, exactly how I work the editor, my tricks, my tips, and uh, we, I can you know, keep a bit more of a communication between the people who are interested in this project. And uh, that's all my excuses as to why it's not out yet. Uh, this next segment that I'm about to get to will be explaining a bit more about uh, my plans for Human Being 3's launch, and I'll be showing some Human Being 3 footage, so if you want to go in 100% blind, uh, you want to leave right now, okay? I uh, appreciate you stopping by, bye-bye. 
So the first thing you should know about Human Being 3, uh, it's going to be hard. Uh, nothing too far worse than Hotline Miami 2's uh, final levels in, their, in its hard mode, uh, but it's a good deal harder than most of the level editor projects that you've seen from me or other people. Uh, I wanted to make something that challenges myself, and I really love the base game's design and its challenge, and I really wanted players to push themselves to beat it. I didn't want this to be something you could do in two hours, three hours. Uh, I wanted this to be like an actual length of a real game. So like, first time you played Hotline Miami 2, it might have taken you five to nine hours. That's kind of what I'm aiming for, because with most level editor projects, it doesn't capture the way the main game feels. And some people don't, I know a lot of people don't like the main game, and um, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but for, this is, I'm kind of making this for true Hotline Miami fans, Hotline Miami 2 fans, and so that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, an actual difficulty that you're actually going to have to think through. You can't just sleep through it. It's not just to be idle, but hiding behind doors. And I mean, if you watch any of my streams, you kind of know how I've been taking to level design recently and my opinion on a lot of editor projects. And so I'm going to make it tough, but I'm going to make it fair. I have an entire Discord of people who are very talented. Um, they, they know just as much as me when it comes to editor and their playtesting. They're giving their feedback. So it's tough, but fair. And... I, f I honestly think it's pretty balanced right now. But that being said, uh, I understand new players, game journalists, people with controllers, like they don't like Hotline Miami 2's main game. They think it's open. They think it uh, doesn't work as well as the first game. Uh, you're wrong, but I, un I understand that position, and I understand that it takes a couple playthroughs of Hotline Miami 2 to really get into it, to really m understand the mechanics. So... At some point after Human Being 3 launches, within the month, hopefully, I'll be releasing an easier version of Human Being 3. Uh, so the level design will be mostly changed, enemy counts, special enemies, it will be drastically reduced. And I'm trying to gonna keep it by like Red Star, Cryo, those are recent campaigns that you probably played that are much easier than what Human Being 3 is going to be. I think that'll help open it up to everyone, you know? Everyone will be able to experience the story, but... Uh, if you can't beat the first, if you can't beat the main one, if it's too frustrating to you, you can go back to this, and it's more of the easier flowing level editor campaigns. But that's not to say Human Being 3, the base version, is only for veteran players. Uh, I want everyone to try the initial one first, that's why it's coming out first, because uh, that's how it's designed to be played. I want everyone to give it a shot, and, uh, as, because the level... The levels, I'm putting a lot of effort into them, and they're designed to teach you the advanced mechanics, like dodging shotguns and, you know, not having to just bait enemies, learning the maps. I I'm trying to focus on s levels that teach you these mechanics, and then the later levels, you actually have to really use these mechanics. Um, the easy mode is just to be more inclusive, uh, cast a wider net of players, um, but because I really want you to play the main one first, it's coming out like a month for earlier, I haven't decided fully yet, and you're not going to get the final level. Gonna have to get the full Human Being 3 experience, you gotta play it the way I want you to play it. But, uh, this might, that, so that might be a controversial thing to do, to have two different versions. Um, and hopefully it won't be too confusing, I'll, I'm gonna try to get a different poster uh, for the easy version. Or at least some sort of variation so you can tell the two. Um, as well as the very first cutscene will tell you which difficulty you're playing on. There was, and I'm not entirely sure this is real, but there was, on the official reddit account of cactus uh, jonathan jonathan he uh he actually said that he wishes he had made a hotline mammy 2 easy mode instead of a hard mode because of the way people just didn't understand the mechanics of hotline mammy 2 the first time they played it if there was an easier mode where you could like get kind of babied and learn them a bit better and then the jump in head first into the uh, main game uh that would have worked better and i kind of agree with him on that i know some people don't uh let me know what you think in the comments about this easy mode because uh, I haven't worked on it at all, but I can't, I know, making an easier level make playtesting so much easier. This, it won't take me more than a month once the main game's out, because it's used as all the same assets. Another thing to note, the ending of Human Being 2 is being retconned. Uh, even before the launch, I hated my fourth wall breaking self-insert ending, and it led to a lot of uh, my, like, persona, me with the glasses and the mustache, it got little uh too much unattended attention than i would have appreciated and so i'm gonna be retconning it essentially uh so i don't know how exactly i'll be uh explaining that to the story it's gonna be 
separate from Human Being 3. So Human Being 3 takes place four years after Human Being 2's ending. So there will be some sort of extra media. I might commission a comic. I might just make like a single level, like a single level campaign to explain uh, what actually happens. But you're no longer going to go and uh, kill me in Human Being 2. And I actually, I would love to update the original campaign, but I have none of those files. So that's just going to stay like that forever, unless I wanted to remake Human Being 2 from scratch, which I don't. 16 levels are planned for Human Being 3, uh, which is how I'm trying to get to that uh, game length around the actual base. Uh, it Each level will probably have more stages than the main game. The main game's mostly got two to three stages on almost all the levels until the very end, whereas I would say about four to five for Human Being 3, um, that many stages. So the levels will be longer, um, but in about the same difficulty. And so currently, with all the playtesting, doing the tiles, doing the custom assets, uh, each level takes me about one to two months to finish. Uh, the current one that I'm working on has taken me three months, um, and it's, it's pretty much finished now. I just got a little bit of detailing left. And so I have about 11 done, Two to three months to finish, do the math, plus I got cutscenes to make. Uh, I wish I could go faster, I really do, but uh, I've tried to optimize it, uh, my time as best as I can, and I think that's about as far as I can push it without hurting myself. Um, yeah, because it takes a while, and when you work on a project for free for two years, I'll like as a lot of mods happen, burnout is a thing, and I've been really making sure I don't get hit by burnout so I take plenty of breaks I play other games I don't force myself to like stay up till wee hours in the night working on it because I know that'll just be a rush product then and I don't want to grow to hate Human Being 3 I always want to love it um, and so I'm taking my time with it but with those 16 levels with an average of five stages four stages each uh, optimization is a big issue with that editor I'm, I'm sure all of you who've tried to make stuff with the editor have run into some optimization issues um, so I'm hoping I don't have to split the campaign into two parts especially since I'm doing two difficulties that would be four uh, workshop entries which could be a problem uh, so I'm doing my best to keep it streamlined and because of that uh, you shouldn't expect such the high level of detail as something like Red Star. Uh, Red Star has a lot of edges, has a lot of debris, has a lot of soldier cams, which do a ton of uh, damage to your optimization. That doesn't make any sense when I said that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so off script. Um, but uh, soldier cam really hurts optimization, essentially. So you'll see very, as much as I can avoid soldier cam, uh, I'm going to avoid it. Uh, because I know Lego Mac ran into a, quite a bit of trouble getting Red Star not to crash. And that was like 13 levels, and I'm going with 16. Uh, so if I can run a full playthrough of Human Being 3 on my old laptop, um, I will probably keep it one. I would advise you, if you've got a low-end rig, um, each act of Human Being 3, and I will tell you um, when the act ends, I would suggest backing out of the campaign and restarting it to avoid like a mid-game crash and lose like half your progress on a stage. Um, but if worse comes to worse, I will just chop it up into multiple parts and release it at the same time, uh, kind of something like Miami Falls. Um, and that, you know, isn't great, but I also don't want to just like cut out huge swaths of levels either. I don't want to be restricted by this level editor. You've likely seen the cover image of Human Being 3 by now. Jim Ryan made this awesome piece that I commissioned from him. And, I mean, it's far better than I could have ever done. And I'm considering on commissioning two pieces of music as well. I know exactly kind of what I want. Um, uh, if you're interested in making it for a, you know, a small amount of money, uh, contact me. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to say it on the VO. I'll put it on the screen probably to make because um, I, I still need to think about it a bit longer. Uh, but get in touch with me. Send me some music samples if you're interested uh, in making two pieces of music. Uh, I, I mean, I'm one man. I don't have a great job. <laughs> or a high-paying job, at least. Um, so, but I don't, I don't want to be like, you know, make stuff for me for free. I do want to pay you. Uh, so I'll do my best. But uh, you got you got to put in the work too. You're not just gonna fart out two pieces of music for me. I know the theme that I kind of want with it, um, and they, they, the reason it's two is because they kind of go together. And I'll explain it to you if you're interested. Uh, so hit me up, send me some samples of stuff you've worked on before, and you know hopefully we can work something out. And because 
you don't get a whole lot of commission music and level letter projects either, and so I think that'd be really cool to have. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this entire thing. I got really rambly at the end there, really deviated off script. Um, so I'm, I apologize if you could like clearly tell. Uh, Human Being Three is really personal to me, and it's really like the big thing in my life right now, like as a project. I'm really excited about it still, and I just I just want it to bring everyone the enjoyment and the laughs that it does me. And so I hope I hope it'll be worth the wait. I hope that you guys are excited for it. Um, I appreciate all of the messages asking me, like, being 3 win. Like, I, I, it, it's still nice to know people care two years on. Um, so, uh, late 2019, uh, and tune in to my dev stream soon, hopefully. I appreciate you watching the whole thing, and uh, take care. Goodbye.